guys and welcome to the level 4 professional cookery. My name is Tony Budd and I will be taking you through the course as your assessor and also your instructor. Um, what I've done is I've put everything onto a learning assistant. So once you've signed up through the college um, on their online system, you will then be given a login details to get into LearnNet. So I've just done a quick video just to take you through Learning Assistant and how to upload um, pictures and videos and I'm sure that uh, most of you guys are, are pretty well up to speed with how to work a, a computer and all the different systems and things like that. So I've uh, logged into the LearnNet and this is what you will see when the first page you'll see once you log in. So once you've um, signed up with the college and you get your login details and you go into the LearnNet system for the first time this is the page that you see. I've put myself in as a student so that you can see it as you will see it once you log in. Obviously my page is a wee bit different um, because I'm the administrator. So if you look here you've got all your different units um, down here so there's seven of them and we will be starting with the prepare vegetables as you go down here so once you scroll down you'll see that there's a little video here in this video i will show you how to make minestrone soup the reason why i picked minestrone soup is because it covers all the different types of vegetables which you need to cover to complete this unit so you would have things like bulbs root vegetables leaves fungi things like that so if you scroll down here and then we've got uh, a little booklet, so if you push on that, or click on that, um, it should come up eventually. Yep, there we go. So, and then you've got all the different chapters here, so there's veg there's videos, um, different vegetables, classification, and preparation methods. Okay, so all the information you need is in that, so we just go through that and study and watch the, the videos. And then we'll just go back to the main page. And if you scroll down, you'll see that there is a little quiz for you to do. So if you work your way through that quiz, it's quite fun. Um, I'll not show you it here, but once you go into it, you'll see that there's multiple choice, um, matching, things like that. So it's quite a quite a good quiz. And this is to get you ready for the formal um formal assessment which is not on here because I've hidden it it's on my page but I've hidden it from from site until such times as we think we're ready to tackle the the um, formal exam and once we've gathered enough evidence so you see here I've got work plan one work plan two and video and photograph and a text card so we'll just go through them first of all so the, the other way. so this is the my assessment. So this doubles as a, a work plan and also my observation. So what I would do is I would look at that. So once you've uploaded a video of you um, doing the chopping and making the minestrone soup, all I need is all the preparation because it's the prepare vegetables uh, unit. So all I need is all the all the vegetables being prepared um, and as you work your way through the different sections here and um, don't worry if you do the carrots before you do the onion as long as I see it then I can tick box here and do that so this is quite good um, to do if we don't have face to face for a while you can just make up the minestrone soup work along with your teacher and um, work your way through that as long as you take either video photographs and things like that so then we just scroll down and then I would sign it at the bottom and say that I've um, observed you doing it so if we go back out of that, and then you'll see that there was a taste card that I showed you briefly. So this is the taste card here. So if I don't get, obviously I'll not be in the kitchen if you make the minestrone up, um, when I'm not in the, in the school. So what you would do is write the school here, uh, your name, the student name, the product name, and then what your teacher or a responsible person or chef, head chef, supervisor would do is give you a score out of 10 for either taste, 
the extra quality and input uh, comment in here, you know, things like it could have done with a wee bit more salt, but other than that, it's fine. Or um, you didn't wash the leaks and there was still grit in the in the soup. So things like that. And then the, the teacher or the chef or whoever would uh, write their name in there, sign it, and they would write what is your relationship to this student. So your teacher would say, teacher, sign it. And then you would just either screenshot it or digitally sign it and upload it. Um, there's numerous ways in which you can do it uh, and then just upload it onto the system. So that is more or less that. Um, and then if you go down to the cooked vegetables, you'll see same same thing and then the same with the hot and cold sandwiches. So I've deliberately put the these three units on first because it'll give you a chance to get the grips with how to work the system. And don't worry if you, you know, if you upload a photograph and then, you know, I check it and it's maybe not poor quality or I can't make out who it was made by. But the crucial thing is that once you do and you upload a photograph, make sure you have a name card with nice big writing so the camera picks it up. Um, don't have a little tiny writing in, this, in the corner of a big card which I've seen before and I can't really make out whose name it is so make sure it's really clear um, if it's you know you, when you're writing your name so it's quite good uh, system to work and you'll find it well I will find it a lot easier than keeping a big file and carrying a load of files and storing them in the in the school everything's on the system and um, the first unit maybe take us a wee bit longer than it should but don't worry about that we've got plenty of time and we can just take our time uploading the photographs and making sure we do it do it correct. Um, and if we go over here, so this is what the page you'll come to. It says shoe buns. This is from a different unit, so ignore that. But this is the page you'll see once you go to upload your photographs. So we just click on add submission like this. And hopefully this computer will speed up a bit there we go so then you just drag and drop it into here so it can't be any easier and make sure you know if you're doing photographs you know don't overload it with photographs and um, just one or two good quality photographs would be suffice when you're doing your little video make sure you do a bit of commentary with a video just don't have a video of a pot boiling with soup in it you know have a video of you maybe collecting your ingredients and talking through, you know, you keep your bench clean, you keep it hygienically clean. And don't forget, I'll be gathering evidence for the other units to use. And um, so I'll be looking at the video to see how clean you work, how tidy, you know, have you got a nice clean apron on, is your hair tied back? Uh, you don't have loads of jewelry and things like that. So it's all the basics that you've probably learned over the years uh, of being in the home economics department. And I'm sure you know all these rules anyway. So but it's also good for me to see that on the video or on the photographs and um, just to cover the other units as well once we come to them. So we'll go back to the main unit and if you keep going down, you'll see work efficiently as part of a team. So we'll be doing things like uh, interviews, uh, we'll be doing um, Evidence gathering form. So you've got all these forms here that you'll fill in and work your way down. So what we're saying there is you will do like mock appraisals, things like that, you know, how are you getting on with your, your role or, or the, the course or whatever. It's just to give you uh, an insight of what happens once you really go into the hospitality industry. Um, it's good practice that in any job, not just the hospitality, that you have a, a yearly review of how you're getting on and how you know the company or um, whoever it is you're working for can help with your training or if there's any issues and things like that. So it's all good standards. So maintain food safety in the kitchen environment. Again, that's working through how you empty bins and don't let them overflow and, and things like that. And how you work in the kitchen, keep it nice and tidy, nice and clean. Make sure all your temperature probing, things like that. And then we go health and safety. So again, it's you know using slippy floor signs, uh, faulty equipment, and things like that. And then that will be the end of the course. And um, so 
if you can once you get your login just have a play about with the system you will not break it okay so there's nothing you can do that will uh, suddenly make it all crash or anything like that so have a go at maybe uploading a, a picture of uh, you know a, a tomato or a carrot or something and uploading it and getting used to doing the doing the system so you will enjoy the course okay guys so hopefully that has explained it for you um, I'm sure you will have uh, a lot of questions but it's just a case of uh, just working your way through it. Um, the first unit is I deliberately picked that because it's quite easy. The question bank is quite small and um, you get to do a bit of practical, either, whether it's with me or with uh, your teacher. But if you just take your time, uh, we will upload. If you practice, maybe uploading a couple of photographs of you know a soup or some bit of vegetable that you've cooked with your name card beside it upload it and then um, if you just let me know with uh, an email through your Glow account uh, that you've uploaded it then I can have a look, check it and then we can, uh, I'll either say yes or no or you know give you a few tips on how to um, to carry on and it could be perfect. Um, I'm sure you guys are probably better than me at uh, working on all this technology and things so if you just take your time, work your way through the workbooks and do the little quiz and we'll just practice on the first unit and see how you get on with that but as you go through it the units do get a little bit more difficult so by the time you come to the you know the, the mandatory units down near the bottom of the page you should be up to speed and how the whole system works and it should be quite second nature to you so it is um, quite good and it is a lot easier using the online system because you know this time last year I was using folders big folders and uh carrying them in and out to the school and and they were getting lost things like that losing evidence and stuff at least once you have it it's all on the system and once your photographs in there you can't you, you haven't lost it okay but what i would do if i was you is keep a little memory stick and anything that goes with the course you'll put a label on it that you know this is your level four course and keep it that's what i would do um, so then uh, if something does happen with this at least you've got a backup okay so uh, I'm looking forward to working with you and we will catch up soon and hopefully I will get into the kitchen to uh, maybe do a few service uh, with you in your in your new kitchen so I shall see you later.